Secondary transition planning is a formal process to prepare students with disabilities for life after high school. School staff work closely with students, their families, and other agencies to discuss students' post-secondary goals and how to achieve them. While there are many available services and advocates for students with disabilities, current systems and processes create barriers to effectively serving these youth and supporting their post-secondary success. The Institute of Education Sciences, RHEL Mid-Atlantic and Regional Comprehensive Center are partnering with Maryland agencies and school systems to break down these barriers and improve how they coordinate and track secondary transition services. Let's start by reviewing the current state. Information on students with disabilities is stored in separate data systems with different access levels and eligibility criteria. For example, details about coursework, grades, and individualized education programs are stored in different parts of the school system. Pre-employment and training services, often referred to as pre-ETS, are managed in the Vocational Rehabilitation, or VR, database and behavioral health services and services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities are recorded in yet other databases. These disconnected systems create process challenges for staff trying to coordinate student services across these organizations. It also makes it hard to track the school's impact on student outcomes. Although staff do their best, they often work with incomplete information, making it difficult to recommend appropriate services. This also means that students and their families don't always receive timely updates or guidance on navigating the application and follow-up process for accessing all the services they may be eligible for. With consent from families, some Maryland districts address this challenge by holding regular meetings between school transition coordinators and local vocational rehabilitation staff to exchange information about the students they support. This allows the transition coordinator to learn about any services the student may have applied for or received from the Vocational Rehabilitation Agency, enabling them to make more informed recommendations on the next steps toward the student's transition goals. For example, if the coordinator finds that a student has not yet applied for pre-ETS or VR services, they can offer information on where to find the application and how to apply to the student and their family. Though promising, this process takes significant time and effort and is not practical for districts with larger student populations and heavier staff caseloads. Our partnership is working toward a future vision where targeted data from various databases are securely shared across partners as needed to support connection to services, allowing staff to quickly find the information they need to support students with disabilities effectively. With consent from families, these data will be linked so students can more efficiently apply for and access services they are eligible for while in school, such as pre-ETS. Linked data will ensure connection to post-school services prior to exiting school, and staff can save time spent manually tracking and connecting all the different data dots. A tool to link and share data securely will help government agencies, school systems, and families streamline data, save time, improve outcomes, and better serve students with disabilities during the life cycle of an individualized education program and beyond. Together, we are harnessing the power of data to improve transition services and help students with disabilities reach their college, employment, and community participation goals. Learn more about this work at the RHEL Mid-Atlantic website.